early this morning. I want to get our week started by telling you some things that are really important to me. It's Faye. What's on my mind? You know what's, what's on my mind? Target is on my mind. A few weeks ago, I wore my Target pink lesbian shirt to the show, right? And it said, live, laugh, lesbian. I'm not laughing at all. I applauded Target for being so inclusive at the time and standing up as a strong ally of the LGBTQ plus community. I had gone to a Target and marveled at how big the pride selection was, like the section was huge and how it was front and center when you walked into the store. I was so taken aback by the inclusion. I really was. There was so much trans merchandise and I could imagine a person seeing this display and feeling seen, right? So I decided to bring some friends so they can revel in the Pride merch as well. We went to Target, a crew of us, like a whole crew of us, and everything was gone. Everything was gone. One of the changes including moving, moving the Pride collection to the back of the store, like behind another section. It was heartbreaking. Supposedly following a backlash from shoppers and haters, honestly, I saw these horrible TikToks from the Karens and the Kens stating that the most ridiculous of things, like uh, that a tuck swimsuit was in the kids section, right? That was just a big freaking lie. One of the many lies that you saw on TikTok. And you know, anyone can bring a piece of clothing from one section to another, right? So Target and CEO Brian Cornell, I am talking to you right now. I 100% understand you wanting to protect the safety of your employees, right? Protecting them from threats of violence or foul words. You know, I saw a video of this man, an angry white man in Missoula, Montana, who vandalized and destroyed a pride display at one of your Target stores. He threw a bunch of stuff on the floor and started screaming horrible things at a trans patron and to the employee present. Did anything happen to him? No. The last time I checked, if I go to a Target, throw a tantrum and start breaking shit, I'd probably end up in jail. So instead of putting these ridiculous people in their place, you roll over. I get it. It doesn't feel good when your safety is threatened, right? Or you're being talked down to. Or like you're being talked down to like you're less than and then threatening your safety, right? It's not a good feeling at all, but you know what? How, you know how I know that that's not a good feeling? Because that's how LGBTQ plus people feel every freaking day. In the early 2000s, when I came out, I had a good friend that was the victim of a gay bashing. Honestly, there were gay bashings all the time. Sometimes someone from our community even died and it wasn't even reported as a hate crime. Queer people in the United States grow up knowing that people want to kill us. I report all the time on the amazing work that they do over at the Trevor Project, right? They reported suicides going up, especially in LGBTQ plus youth. Let me be clear, being queer doesn't make you automatically depressed or suicidal. What does that is consistency and relentlessly being threatened with violence. That can be very harmful. So I kind of understand you wanting to pull back, but you know, be less vocal or maybe hide till all this stuff blows over, right? Or maybe, you know, be quiet until it's time to put up the 4th of July merch, right? But you have to understand that when our allies decide to take a step back from all the hate and noise, our LGBTQ plus community doesn't get to take a step back. You leave our whole community right there to absorb all the hate that was going towards you all alone. Folks, Community, it's Pride Month, and Target must do better. Target should put the products back on the shelves and ensure their Pride displays are visible on the floors, not pushed into the closet. That's what, that's what the bullies want you to do. And I am beyond sad that you're allowing them to win. And you should be too. I might never shop at Target again. You have broken my queer heart. So, did you enjoy the show? I know you did, so make sure to click subscribe so you won't miss any of the events, news, or interviews right here on the Faye What Show. Ring the bell at the bottom of the screen, right there, so you'll be alerted every time we're live. You can also click on the Happening Out Television Network logo so you can see all of the shows on the most diverse LGBTQ plus media network. Find out just what we're doing to bring the L and the G together right here on the Faye What Show. Get the week started with me.